guitar player, the beautiful Juana Quinana. I don't know, but Rona is a, is a very successful and very busy musician in Israel. And, uh, and for a few years now, we've been very good friends. And, and um, woo! <laughs> that was the weirdest woo I ever heard. Friendship! Yes! <laughs> we also have sex on a regular basis. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> Rona is a good friend, and uh, from time to time I was I was on tour, and uh, and tour can be difficult because it's tiring and you don't see your family and your friends. So I used to Skype her, and I would say, Rona, this is so difficult, and she would say, Oh, and she would say all these things that a friend should say to keep me going, and um, yeah, <laughs> and um. And then one, one evening we talked and, and I had this idea all of a sudden. We are friends and we're both musicians and we can add the two and it will be beautiful. But I didn't really think she would agree because she's so busy and she's, she has her own career and life and stuff. And, uh, and I just offered it and to my great, great, great surprise and great, great, tremendous honor, she accepted the, the invitation for this last month and a half of hard work. One more thing you should know about Rona before we begin. She has a strange taste in music. And when I told her, choose whatever song you want out of the whole repertoire of my music. The whole <laughs> 40 years of the greatest hits. No, but out of my small repertoire, I told her, choose whatever song you want. And she chose a song that I forgot I've written. <laughs> My mom probably forgot I wrote it. It's it's such a no, but it's 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 an unknown song, and and, and Rona has brought new life to it, and, and that's what I love about playing live music. You you're you're always bringing new life to old work, and, and uh, so thank you for that as well. And now we'll begin the song. I swear, I took too much of it. Why doesn't he keep singing? I hate it when he talks. God, I paid so much money for this. Just sing. <laughs>
see a man. I thought we'd finish this race together, but at least a lot. And there were 69 tickets sold, 60 something, I don't know. And, um, and it was an amazing feeling for me because I didn't think anybody would come. And, uh, and we just posted some posts on Facebook and I had <laughs> my, my promoter believe in me and give me that show and all. And people came. And the next time we chose a bigger venue and people came. And the next time a bigger venue. And, we moved to Marocanri and the Cigar and the Trianon and the Olympia and now to the Zenith. And what, I'm, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying, it has nothing to do with me. It has to do with every single body here. Thank you, thank you, thank you for, for being here. Wow. 